Uh, we'll move next to Moreno Toselli from the Department of Tree Culture, okay, Horticulture, <laughs> in Bologna, Italy, on the uh, effect of organic fertilization on soil fertility and nutritional status and nectarine trees. So I take this few moments to thanks the organizer committee for this wonderful meeting and the opportunity to be here to share with you some data that we have collected in the east side of the Po Valley of Italy. Maybe some of you are familiar with this. We we'll work on nectarine trees. Um, and the main goal over 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 all objective of this project was to uh, to try to increase the uh, organic material in the soil of our area. We consider our uh, goal is to increase above two or three percent. We are lower than two percent, and we consider this a very low concentration of organic material. And also was to check if it is possible to uh, carry out the fertilizer management without any chemicals, just with organic material. Uh, the data that uh, we are going to focus today is uh, based on the, these objectives, so evaluate the effect on some parameters of soil fertilities uh, to evaluate the status of nutrition of the trees after 11 to 12 years of this management and uh, possible to see the total balance of removal of the nutrients after this time in a, in a, in a, in a as I told you, in a nectar in orchard. This is the uh, orchard we were uh, we are working on. Uh, the, the, the trial is going on; it's uh, still, you know, on. And uh, as you can see, that it was managed with grass in the alley, and uh, we have tilled and we apply the compost here, and we till the compost into the soil because I believe that using organic material. The, the organic material that we used uh, to have chemical, bio biological, and physical uh, benefit to have to till into the soil. This is something that I really want to uh, underline because this is my, my true feeling. So these are some uh, data about the, the, the orchard, nectarines, uh, started gold variety, uh, the um, hybrid almond per peach rootstocks, was planted in 2001 and the treatment has been started since the time of plantation. Uh, the delay vasette is the trial system that is the most common in that area. Uh, 526 tree per hectare. And uh, as I told you, oops. Let's see. Okay. Can I go ahead? Will you push ahead, please? Okay, this is an overview of the nectar in a few uh, moments ago. Full bloom is uh, uh, end of March. We are close to the seashore. And these are the treatment. We had a control, no fertilization application at all since 2001. Mineral fertilization according to the integrated crop management of the area. Cow manure, compost. Uh, compost was uh, with cow manure applied at planting and then later on every year. And compost at two rate, five ton per hectare and 10 ton per hectare, uh, split in May and in September. May and September as it was split nitrogen. May is more or less 40 days after full bloom, the time we suggest to, to apply nitrogen in integrated crop management. And so September is after harvest, so uh, before the end of the summer to allow the storage of nitrogen for the following season. This is the material that we start from. This is the uh, domestic organic waste of the municipality around the area that we work. I used to, to call this how urban manure, something that we produce every day. We are not going to run out shortly. And it's 
a, a lot of stuff that we have, have the problem to deal with. And we usually threw it away. <laughs> but it has a, a huge value mixed with uh, pruning wood and green management of urban area. It makes a material. Sometimes we can also add some other organic waste from food related process. We can use also poultry manure to decrease the carbon to nitrogen ratio according to our requirement. As we have seen yesterday from the most famous compost in the world, we have to cook it or at least to stabilize it until the uh, oxygenation uh, uh, time will finish and to have a stabilized uh, product. This is the final product. It's still highly, a high value in terms of nutrients, in terms of organic material, that is really a pity to get rid of. This, in my opinion, is the future of horticulture in Italy. If we use this, we don't have to worry about any other nutrient, but not only in organic farming, also in conventional farming, because this is really cheap. Uh, Sometimes this is free, because the municipality does not know how to do with this. Okay, so <laughs> it's difficult for me to convince the grower to use this material. They are afraid of uh, heavy metals, of uh, phytotoxicity compounds that they, they are not in, in this material. Actually, this is from the waste that we use every day to eat. That, so <laughs> how can be this contaminated? <laughs> anyway, this is my... <laughs> my point. So this is an overview of what we apply. So mineral from 2001, 2003, 70 kilos of nitrogen, 120, 130 from 2000 on. And you can see th these two treatments with compost. It's 120 kilos of nitrogen per year and compost 10 ton is 240 kilos of nitrogen. A huge amount. This is the maximum allowed in Italy in the vulnerable area for nitrate leaching. So this is the maximum that we could we could apply. Just a comparison with cow manure that is our most important in our uh, school organic material that can be used in agriculture. So there is not much different but the dry weight. So it's three times more or less two times and a half higher the dry weight so it's easy to, uh, to manage and to handle. And the carbon to nitrogen ratio for me is really important because if it is too high, the material will sequestrate nitrate rather than release. But if it is too low, you might have much faster release of nitrogen. So this is a machinery. This is not our orchard. This is a per orchard. A machinery to apply and then we tilled into the soil. This is still very important. So the, here is what's going on since the beginning of the, of the trial. Look at the increase in soil organic material. We reach more than 5% in the area that we apply. That was not the entire surface, but just you know under the row. So we reach up to 5% of organic material in the highest compost rate. And Linearly, also the total nitrogen in the soil raised, but this is total nitrogen. This is not available nitrogen. We were afraid about available nitrogen, nitrate, because nit nitric nitrogen is an issue in our area. And this is how nitric nitrogen moved throughout the, the entire project. And we see our goal is to keep this value from five part per million to 15 part per million. Because uh, in our opinion, peach needs this value of available nitrogen in the soil. So you see that there was a fluctuation over the year that is pretty normal for this kind of parameter due to weather, due to humidity, due to temperature, soil, and so on. But there was no much peak above the 15 part per million in all the treatment. And also when we apply 10 ton of compost per year per hectare. We didn't found too much increase, just a couple of times in 2004, 2008. And this, if we look closer to the last two, two years, we don't see too much difference. Statistical significant increase in nitric nitrogen was due to 
mineral application, 130 kilo per hectare per year. But we haven't seen a release in nitrogen after the application of organic material. That was our most important concern when you use such amount of nitrogen. Ammonium nitrate also, I was surprised, this soil has a, a, a quite high level of ammonium nitrogen compared to the other soil around. That was more or less the same figure of nitrate nitrogen. But this is much better nitrogen because it can be absorbed by the clay and so it can be available later. But still we don't see too much difference among treatment in so long time, period of time. Uh, since we haven't seen big difference in terms of uh, availability of nitrogen, we haven't seen also a big difference in terms of leaf nitrogen concentration. Only in 2010, we have seen difference with mineral and compost highest rate increased over 3%. Yield hasn't been affected very much. However, overall, the cumulative yield was increased by the compost 10 ton per hectare compared to the control, with no difference among the other treatment. And the other one was mineral. So compost and mineral had the same score of yield after, I've got to go a little bit faster. Fruit weight was increased by addition of compost 10 ton and mineral uh, uh, compared to the um, control, untreated control. And uh, the quality of fruit was, uh, let's say, uh, the ferment was increased by application of treatment compared to uh, untreated control. And uh, uh, if you look at the soil soluble concentration, that was a little bit higher when we apply nitrogen rather than not application of nitrogen. And, okay, I want to go. Well, we tried to, to check what was the overall inc uh, volume of uh, the organic material, the, uh, the dry matter of the trees, and the removal of the nutrient. So if we look at the leaves that naturally were collected at the natural abscission, we see that mineral uh, application of, of nutrient increased the amount of leaves to four kilos per trees with uh, removal of nitrogen that was significantly different. The same we have seen for pruning wood. Again, pruning wood was higher in compost and in mineral with an increase in nitrogen removal. And also the fruit harvest, the harvest was higher for compost compared to control and with higher also removal of nitrogen. So if we put all these data together, we can have leaves, we can have pruning wood, we had uh, thinned uh, fruits and fruit at harvest. We don't have the increasing roots and the increase in, 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 in branch and trunk. However, you see that the total amount of dry weight that we have collected and measured, it was higher in mineral, 80 kilos compared to control and compost, almost 19 kilos. And look at the removal of nitrogen per trees, 100 grams compared to 200 grams. But we haven't seen too much difference in terms of availability of nitrogen, but this is, was enough. So in conclusion, we can say that the compost is a proper fertilizer management. It allows the same result as mineral fertilization in the area that we are studying. Uh, in addition, it can allow to sequestrate some carbon in the soil. We put carbon in the soil, and we calculate as much as 2.7 ton per hectare per year. Application of compost has increased dry weight, and this is a point that we have to talk about if we want to have bigger trees, but also increase the quality of fruits. Nitrate concentration that we believe was very important in evaluate the fertility of the soil, in this case, didn't work very well because it was not good to predict the amount of nitrogen that was absorbed by trees. Just to acknowledge the Regione Emilia Romagna that has sponsored, but now has quit to put, give me money. So I'm, I run out of money. I need another sponsor to go ahead. And this is a bunch of people that is in my lab. 
And I want to thank Bruno Marangoni, that maybe most of you know, that is going to retire this year, that he was my teacher. Thank you very much.